Hey folks, what's going on? Clutch here, welcome back to Nebraska. Guys, I was just on the internet checking out uh, some parts for that Chev. We've got, well, you know, the barn found we got yesterday. If you guys missed that one, go back and make sure you check that out. We've got a brand new, well, Chevy Stepside pickup. Let's head back down. We're gonna head over there right now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Side here, oh, I left the door open on the way in. Close that up, excellent. Um, the house is looking so good. I do love this house, the way it sits out here on this piece of property. It's so nice out here. Oh man, so we got the shop down here, the main shop just down the road. Let's go for a little walkie poo over here. We've got our brand new Chevy Stepside. Guys, I got it running. I got the Chevy running. It looks so good. Uh, cleaned it up. I do need to paint it. I, and that's what we're doing today. We gotta get it painted and I've got some plans. Now I made a phone call, get the plans taken care of. Um, I'll show it to you what we got so far. But I'm really excited because it's a nice, such a nice looking truck actually. After we got it all scrubbed down, we see that uh, it's got some rust, but it can definitely be fixed up. There we go. There she is, a Chevy Stepside. 351 right now in there. Yeah, I don't mind the tires it's got on it, but I want to change that up potentially. It's not like those are stock by any means. You can see we got a little bit of rust up on the, uh, the old hood up here. I'm not a real big fan of this like gray on gray two-tone coloring we got going on. We'll keep the two-tone but I do want to change the coloring for sure. Everything else, mechanically, she is sound. Look at that, nice looking truck. So we're gonna load this up right away, take her into town and get her dropped off. See if we can get this thing looking pretty. Get it looking pretty. All right, sounds like a plan to me. Let's do this thing, pitter patter. Clutch simulations. So when I pulled, uh, this truck out of the shop, this old Chev here, I was like, you know what, we got like sisters almost, they're almost like twins. Uh, this is a nice old Chev too, I forgot we even had this, this is my, is my uh, kind of plow slash pig food move around truck, really, I don't use it for a whole heck of a lot, it's almost like, it just, it's in such good shape, I'm, I don't really want to move it, for, use it for too much on the farm, just kind of light duty, it's such a nice looking truck, but now we got another old Chev as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, let's get in this thing. I'm gonna let you listen to this thing as we fire it on up. Jump on in. There we go. You know what? Sounds not bad. It's it's in decent shape. Like I said, we checked out the engine. Everything seems to be running good. We changed all the fluids in it, and everything seems to be running decently. Back this on up. Look at those hazards. <laughs> the old incandescent bulbs. Looks good. I like it. Made me laugh. All right, back her on out. Oh man, all right, let's get this thing loaded up on the flat deck here. And uh, we're gonna take it into town and get her serviced. Sweet, like it. Come on up, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Up we go. One more step. Excellent. Oh. Get her right about, I think we're gonna go a little bit further forward. Right there, right there, right there. All right, excellent. All right, I gotta strap this down. Lock her down, make sure she stays safe. Short drive into town, but uh, we'll get this thing serviced and see if I can get this thing painted the next day here or so. Get her painted and all. Uh, we'll see what else other options we have available to it. I don't know, maybe a, a small lift, get some bigger tires on this that look a little nicer. Maybe some BFGs. I don't know. I think that's kind of what I'm looking for. I, it'd be a good mud truck, I think. All right, hopped in the Ford and we are off like a herd of turtles. Let's just take this nice and easy out of the farm here. Nice and easy. All right, and oh, we're gonna go through the gate again. Let's see if we can make it through the gate. Best driver in farm sim, I'm seeing it. Premature, probably a bad idea. Probably not a great idea. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, like there's any doubt. Come on now, come on. Anyways, um, no new news on the farm sale yet, guys. I'm still prepping potentially for that to happen. But since we had no new news, you know what? We're gonna keep on working on the farm away. I've got some grass, some hay that we do need to take care of at some point sooner than later here. As well, um, we've got another field right here to plant. And you know what? I realized I don't have any oats for my horses. So you know what? We're gonna plant some oats in there just in case if this deal falls through, we'll, we'll have a, a, a oat harvest. I didn't have any from last year and that was not something we really planned on doing. So that's something we're gonna have to take care of. So we're gonna get some oats planted today as well. We'll see how this all turns out, but I need to, uh, that hay, I'd love to get that bailed. I would love to get that bailed. It's not gonna get bailed today. We still have to wait for it to cure a bit, but who knows? We'll see, maybe tomorrow morning we'll get it done. Uh, next turn, next turn, next turn, right by the post service here. 
I always think that's my turn. I always think that's the one we got to take right there, but obviously it's not. All right, let's take this one right here, nice and easy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go down here and pull into the old paint shop. And just pulling in right over here. Now, there we go. County line, equipment repair. He's got a paint booth in there. So he's going to uh, be taking care of the painting for me. I'm just going to pull ahead and uh, be able to get this truck off this at the back here. Of course, obviously most of the stuff they do is farm, farm related, tractor related. But he does have a paint booth, so well, you know what? We'll drop this off. All right, let's shut this down. You know what? The Ford's not looking too bad either. We gave it a quick clean, but it's already muddy. It never seems to end. All right, we'll hop on up, get the Chev off of here. Perfect. Nice and easy like. Down the ramp. All right. All right, let's just pull this uh, up in front of the bay here. We'll leave it right there. I'll go in and have a chat with them, let them give them the keys. And then, uh, you know what, guys? By the time we see this truck again, she's going to be looking real fine. I can't wait to see what we can do with this thing. Oh, man. So excited to see what happens here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're back at the main farm. I've got the case, the 620, warming up right now. Uh, we are filled up with oats. We've got oats and fertilizer filled up in the seed hawk. We do need to get across over. There's a small field. It's a small field that we actually own. It's just across the way right here. Uh, that one there, well, it used to be Jake's farm, actually. It used to border on, too. That was our root crop farm beforehand. And, uh, well, now we're putting some oats into that one. We've got enough root crops to last us, well, next to forever. <laughs> like seriously i've got so much root crop guys i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i should probably just sell it off but anyways we've got sugar beets yeah they're coming out the yin yang zip this across now i'm not gonna go through the gate with this setup that's just yeah I'm, yeah no <laughs> we're not doing it we're not doing it we're going straight across so we're gonna go cut through uh this little shrubbery area here and then cut across the road because technically anyways that's where the field is so i shouldn't be on the road with my case anyways right right that's right because that never happens <laughs> uh straight across the road and then into that small field right there it's it's not a big field it shouldn't take us too long to do this today i'm thinking uh get this bit wrapped up call it a day and then hopefully by tomorrow we can look at all that hay uh that is sitting in that field hopefully we can get in there and to get that taken care of no traffic no traffic no whammies no whammies go 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 and just pull into this field we're gonna start unwrapping right now because this does take a good couple seconds here to unwrap and i want to get that uh seed hawk oh they're looking how big that seed hawk is you know what like i you know it's a big trailer but you don't really notice it until you get it up on to something like look at on the road this thing takes up it's unbelievable how big this piece of equipment is oh man let's go jump 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 all right in we go i'm gonna turn this on we're gonna pull us ahead and we're just gonna start planting there we go we do have oats in there good 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 drop her down come on drop for me at some point there we go excellent we'll have to hit a little bit more on the way back but not a big deal there and away we go sweet nice i love driving this thing this is such a fun unit to drive all right there we go oats in the ground so it's oats perfect all right so like i said guys small field uh it's gonna go right up the tracks over there we do have to go around the uh nitro uh nitrogen center here nitrogen recharge center as you can see up ahead here you know what that's something we have not used on this farm that's something I've, I haven't bothered to use. I don't know what kind of if that's going to give us better yield if we ever use that. I do need to talk to someone about that a little bit more in depth at some point. I don't quite, uh, yeah, I don't quite understand the purpose over just regular fertilizer. That's something we have to look at. Oh, 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 get out of the shrubs, out of the shrubs. Oh, I'm catching some shrubs here. That's not really good for that. Come on, get on out, get on out of there, get. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, nice and easy around this corner and then down by the tracks all right looking good looking good looking good yeah i'm happy this is perfect we'll be done this in just a heartbeat easy work for the day i like that perfect uh, as i said small field we'll be done in no time get those oats planted and then we can figure out what to do with our hay and get those horses fed yeah that's next on the docket making some sweet sweet headway oh yeah no problems whatsoever 
Everything is going smooth. We're just uh, just doing some laps, basically. Now, we've done a bit of a U-shape. I've gone with a bit of a different design for this field. You can see I've kind of gone all the way around. And then if we look over here, we've got a couple more um, spots we've done as well. So just kind of going back and forth, filling in the U-shape now. You can see we've got all the way down to the south den. Probably got about uh, four passes that way. And if we go back up this way, we've got another uh, maybe six, seven passes left. Eh, not going to take us too long. Not bad. Let's uh, let's get ready for the spin here. Get her turned around. Nice and easy like. And stop about there and lift up. Alright, let's go, go, go. Spin around, spin around. Nice and easy. Keep everything going nice and easy. You want to bind everything up by turning too, too sharp. But you do need to crank it right over in order to get this to work properly. But we have enough space now that we can do this neat and tidy like. Look at that. It's like perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Get nice and close. We'll drop that down. And go, 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 go. Excellent. So, I mean, each pass is about maybe a minute. With this setup, I think we'd be better off if we could get a longer pass. But, of course, this field's only so big. <laughs> so, I mean, the main purpose for this, this particular unit was, of course, the big fields. But it works okay on these smaller fields as long as you make sure you have enough space on the ends to do that full loop. And then you should be good to go. Anyways, let's uh, wrap this field up. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it a day after this. We've been working hard, right? It's, it's 1 o'clock. I think we can, we can call it a day, can't we? I think we can. On to our last pass. Apparently, I'm a little bit um, angled. Uh, that's what I get for not using the GPS right there. That's exactly what happens. <laughs> uh, that's all right. That, that, that's okay. It, we'll fix it. <laughs> Uh, last pass. There we go. Oats are completely planted. This field up on the uh, north side here, that is a massive field. I, oh man, a lot of soybeans up there, guys. A lot of soybeans. Let's wrap this up. Excellent. All right. Now, I was t thinking about taking a break for the afternoon. I thought maybe I deserved it, but then I realized there's still some work that I can do. Um, it's nothing that really needs to get done, but I might as well do it just to get ahead of the game, I guess. I don't know. Is that is that necessary? I, I feel like we're so far we're doing pretty good this summer or this spring, I should say. Let's get through the, through the woods here again. Dive on in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy, easy, easy. Oh man, she slipped hard there. Back this thing up there. That was uh, that was not supposed to happen. That just kind of took off on me. All right, let's go this way. Come on, and then back the other way. These articulating tractors sometimes get away from you if you don't watch it. Um, so. I do want to take care of that grass, and I thought, well, you know what, we'll just wait till it cures, and then we'll windrow, then we'll bale it, yeah, all at once. Um, why don't we just windrow it now? Why, why am I going to wait? That makes no sense. So instead of waiting for it to cure, we're going to windrow it, let it cure while it's windrowed, and then I don't need to worry about it. And then I can pick it up and bale it whenever, as soon as it's ready, it's one less job to do. Makes more sense, doesn't it? I mean, I, I do want the afternoon off, but I, I guess it's not going to happen. Um, there it is. We're going to take the case, the 380. 380? Yeah, the 380. Get this thing fired up. There we go. Nice. Detached from our gravity wagons. Oh, not both of them, just one of them. There we go. Um, I've got something over here that uh, I picked up that I want you guys to see. Let's scooch through the woods here. Oh, still a mess of silage over there. Let's go, go, go. Take the 380. We've been driven the 380 a lot lately. We've been using it more for dragging bins through the fields. There she is. All right. So we picked this off up off the old Kajij from some DGens, and uh, they weren't using this thing properly. It's a little bit beat up, but it's not bad. It, it's not bad. Uh, it's an old Shankle rake. Now, this, sh you know what? It's not. The nicest looking one in the world, but it's got such a wide swath on it. I thought that would be pretty good for us. Um, it'll really help us get through this. I love this uh, warning. Do not stand in path of machine. No, thanks, Tips. Thanks. Because um, that's really what I want to have run over my face is these tongs on the rake. That sounds like a great time to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyways, so let's hook this thing up. We'll go for a drive to the field. Quickly uh, rake, up the, uh, rake up that grass we have there as it turns to hay slowly. Hoping, we do have rain planned tomorrow. It's supposed to be coming in tomorrow at some point. I really hope that maybe by the end of the day, we can be done with all this. All right, let's take a quick look, make sure everything's hooked up. 
Yeah, it just goes onto the ball joint there. Perfect. Everything looks happy. I'm happy. It's happy. Everybody's happy. Let's go. Now, as long as it doesn't rain, we should be okay. Like today, I think I think we might be able to get away with it. As long as this stuff cures by the end of the day, we're okay. But I think it's like 9 a.m. is when the rain is supposed to come, and that's a bit of a problem. Through the woods, by the old horse pasture. Oh, right. Love it. Look at all the piggies. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at the piggies. Um, oh, I'm going to move the tractor. It's in the way. <laughs> I missed a swath there, too, it looks like. All right, let's just pull this on in. Now, this is going to take literally no time. I mean, look how big this field is. <laughs> Open this up. And you're going to see how big this thing is once she opens up. There we go. I mean, that's a pretty good-sized swath we're going to get out of this. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, let me go move the, uh, what is that, the 6R? And we'll get the uh, that as well as that bush hog out of the way here. Get it moved up out of the way so we can get in here with the uh, the rake. I don't need the bush hog in here anymore, but I do want to use the bush hog over on that far side potentially. So I'm just going to leave the bush hog in the corner here for now. It can stay out in the weather. It's not a big deal. There we go. Drop that there. And let's go, go, go. Get this out of the way for now. Park it just kind of right over here. Sweet. All right. Good enough for me. All right, guys, let's get into the field here. Let's get all this grass kind of raked up. You can see it. Nothing's turned to hay yet. It's still a ways away. I mean, we've got perfect weather for it, though. 21 degrees. No rain, really, right now. If we had some sun, that would be nice. I don't know what the wind speed is. The wind speed really does help us there if we get some decent wind. But, uh, you know what? It'll take what you can get, I suppose. All right, so you can see how this maneuvers up and down. That's all there is to it. Let's get this thing closer to the field here and drop her down. I really don't want to have grass on the pavement, but oh well. We could still pick it up from there, I suppose. And away we go. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good, that's a decent swath for this. This is all right. I guess I probably didn't need to use my 380. I'm sure I could have gone away with one of the John Deere's. One of the small 6Rs. Uh, would have been more than adequate for this job, but... Uh, we had the 380 right there, so we might as well use it, right? Looking good. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good heap, actually. Look at that. It's a decent size heap for sure. Now, as long as this doesn't get rained on, we'll be set. Because this is just enough hay, I think, to get us through probably like the winter. But one thing we don't have oats. We don't have any alfalfa or anything like that yet. Oh man, I was tempted to plant alfalfa, but at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> around the corner all right like i said look it's like three passes and we'll be done this this is actually pretty good this will take no time to bail even uh we should be placing bets here well, how many bales is this going to net us i'm going to go with six i think we'll get six bales out of this let's see scooch this around oh, oh don't grab the next up ah oh, darn it i didn't mean to grab the next pass there i hate when i do that and they're grabbing a whole bunch from the last run. <laughs> but it's getting pretty tight already. If I had room to go back and forth on this area, I probably would. But that's okay. All right, we'll finish this off. But guys, this looks good. We'll just need to wait for it to cure. And then we can bail it. Wow, that's uh, quite the snake's trail. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, I can almost write something out with this. Uh, it, would, it would probably be obscene, so I probably shouldn't. Because... That's the way my mind works. Uh, let's go pull this out of the way. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. That's fantastic. All right. I guess we just can hurry up and wait now, guys. Hurry up and wait. I think it's time for a gold one. I'm going to take the afternoon off. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, well, good morning, folks. Um, not really a good morning. <laughs> just kind of disappointed right now uh clouds have rolled in we've got some rain coming down first thing here on the next morning and yeah that hay that we tried to take care of it didn't turn to hay it's still grass and now the rain's here so i'm kind of screwed um i could pick the grass up but then all i'm left with is grass i don't really want grass i have no use for that so now I need to ted this if I want to get it dried out. I, oh, come on, man. Throw me a bone here. <laughs> so 
this is just going to get soaked. It's probably going to uh, deteriorate, and we're going to lose most of it anyways. For the six or ten bales that I might get out of this, I might just say, screw it, and leave it alone, and not even worry about it. <sighs> but that's just a waste of a couple hours of my day that uh, we tried to cut and windrow this for zero reason. I do have, um, like I said, this field right here, we'll be able to cut this soon enough anyways. And I've got hay bales, but it's, it's just when you plan to use something and it just falls apart, it's always just a bit of a kick in the knackers, that's all. Uh, yeah, anyways. Um, good news on the other side, our truck, it's ready to go. It's been painted, it's been cleaned up. I'm going to head into town and go take a look. In fact, I might just take a taxi because I'm going to want to drive that bad boy home. All right, well, screw this place. I'm out of here. Let's go take a look at our truck. All right, we just got dropped off. <clears throat> oh, they are, I think they're closed. Um, where's my truck? Is it? Oh, it's right there. I can see it. It's, it's right there. It looks so good. But, uh, what's... Oh, they don't open until 8 o'clock. Oh, come on, man. Uh, all right. Well, I guess... Hmm. Can't open that door. They're locked. I guess I'm going to go grab some breakfast. The breakfast joy is just around the corner. I'll go grab some brekkie, and we'll come back in a second. I'm going to go for a little bit of a walk. Ah, nothing like a walk in the rain first thing in the morning to kind of set your day off in the right direction, right? Oh, anyways, where is our truck? Oh, there she is. Now they're open. That's better. Look at this. Oh, right. Oh, man. It looks so good. All right. So let me tell you a little bit of what we got on here. So it is black on black, but it's kind of an Onyx black on a bit of a lighter black, I think, in the middle here. I can't remember which one's which. That's sort of what we decided to go with. Um, down the side, the stripe is a bit of a, it's a different tint and it doesn't look good. You can't really see it there. I don't know, maybe when we pull out, you'll be able to tell, but it's a different tint that's in the middle there. So it does look a little bit different. It's tough to see. It has to be in the right light, which is, I, I, I like when it does that. That looks good. Uh, we've also gone with some BFGs for tires on the side there. It didn't, it didn't change the size too much. Uh, they got some nice chrome rims with them as well. Now we did have one interesting thing. The grill was cracked. The Chevy grill was cracked on that one. And uh, the only one we could find was a GMC. So we slapped a GMC in. Now, the only difference is I needed to make sure we kind of matched it all up. So got some uh, the rest of our badging. We got the Sierra Classic badging there as well on the back. GMC badging on the back. So it matches all throughout and throughout. Looks good. Look at the nice chrome bumper, chrome tipped exhaust. Yeah, she's looking pretty darn fine. I am liking the look of this truck, guys. Sweet. Well, let's hop on in. We've already paid for this. We're all good to go there. It's just uh, time to take it home. Nice. Look at that. Nice and clean. Fantastic. Uh, loving it. I'm <laughs> absolutely loving this truck. So good. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for us today here on Nebraska. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We got a new whip. Oh, man. Look at her go. <laughs> ah, yeah, we did. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Guys, if you did, you know what to do there. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will catch you next time. From Nebraska Lands, this is Clutch. Over and out.